And that worker shortage that Charlie mentioned is becoming a huge factor in the supply chain bottleneck. There's actually not enough truck drivers to clear up the backlog at the ports. So CBS's Carter Evans takes a closer look tonight. For every available truck at the ports of L.A. and Long Beach, there are more than 13 truck loads waiting to be picked up. How bad is the truck driver shortage? It is a serious issue. Long Beach Port Director Mario Cordero says he expects the new deal with the Biden administration to keep ports open 24-7 will help speed up long waits. If a truck driver shows up at 5 in the morning, you're not going to wait two hours to get into the terminal. That's good news for Ron Bodnar, who has big dreams for a new job driving a big rig. What made you make the decision right now? The money, kind of. Most of the nation's goods are transported by truck. Drivers are in demand, and they're commanding higher salaries, up 25% since 2019. In a couple of years, I'd like to hit the six figures. So there's a lot of interest in your driving school right now. Yes. But Harbor Trucking School owner Luis Franco says none of his drivers could get licenses for months when the pandemic hit because the Department of Motor Vehicles shut down. And even now, it can take months to get an appointment. The DMV um, needs to make it a priority in order for them to get out there on the road and start making money. Right now, it's about putting products back on store shelves. I think there are cost issues, uh, particularly when you talk about labor costs for the third shift. On the other hand, what is the cost of doing nothing? We now see what that is. Well, the Long Beach Port Director tells me he hopes to see this 24-hour schedule up and running at all terminals by next week. But none of this will work without more truckers. Even before the pandemic, the industry was short 60,000 drivers. Nora? Wow, Carter Evans, thank you.